In this video, I will show you how I go from this to this in less than an hour. This is my summer curly hair routine. So I just finished washing my hair and we're going to start off with Orr's Tea Tree Oil and I'm just going to take a little bit and massage it into my scalp. I want to make sure that I get my entire head and then I'm going to go through and apply it to the rest of my hair but I'm not going to apply too much as I don't want my hair to get oily too fast. Then I'm going to use African Pride's Olive Miracle Leave-In Conditioner and I'm going to section my hair off into four sections. One split down the middle and then I split each side into two parts and apply an even amount to all four sections. I would consider my hair type between a 3C and a 4A curl type. Um, also, don't mind my resting face. <laughs> of course, to me, it's not a surprise that I have some hair that got caught on my fingers. Next, I'm going to grab my spray bottle and my Softy Super Freeze Clean and Clear Protein Styling Gel, and I'm going to section a small part in the front of my hair, as you can see, and I'm going to twist that hair and tie it up in front and save it for later, as that is the last area that I'm going to be working with. Then I'm going to part my hair down the middle and tie the right side of my head up into a bun as that is going to be the second side of my hair that I'm going to be working with. Then I'm going to proceed and drag my finger along the top of my ear and all the way back to the back of my head and section my hair off like so. I am then going to wet my hair and get a solid amount of the styling gel and run it through. I will continue to add smaller amounts of gel until I notice that there is plenty in my hair. I do not want to forget the ends because the ends of my hair are a lot more drier than the rest and if the gel is not evenly distributed through my hair, certain parts will be frizzier than others. I know that I've put enough gel in my hair once I see that some strands of hair have gone straight because of the amount of product that is in it. I will then finger coil some of the back sections and spend a solid amount of time making sure that the back of my head is styled properly so that it doesn't end up frizzing up a lot faster than the rest. Now that I've finished that section of my hair, I'm going to grab the rest of my hair on that side and part it in half. And I'm going to spray that section with water and will run gel through that section just as before. I can see that some strands of hair have gone straight because of the amount of product in there and then I will finger coil some of the back strands of hair and spend a solid amount of time making sure that the back of my head is styled properly so that it doesn't end up frizzing a lot faster than the rest. Now that I have finished that section of my hair, I'm going to grab the rest of my hair on that side of my head and part that in half and I'm going to continue and spray that section with water and run gel through that section just as before. As you can see, some of my strands of hair that I'm working with are straight when I massage the gel through it and then I finger coil the areas in the back especially so that they look styled and the gel is evenly distributed and held. I will say that I do not always do my hair this way, but by doing my hair the way that I am showing you guys, I get the best results, 
and my hair does last longer. I do plan on doing a lazy curly hair routine in the future, so make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notified when that video comes out. When I first started doing my hair this way, it used to take me way over an hour, but I've learned to shorten that time, and that is one of the main reasons why I'm making this video, so that you guys out there who have curly hair and do not have a quicker routine when trying to style or do your hair, you guys can have a routine or at least see how I do my hair and use bits and pieces of my routine to make your routine more efficient. In my curly hair routine, I do tend to focus more on the front and back of my head more than the sides, so I do make sure that I am finger coiling and applying plenty of product on the back of my head where you cannot see, as well as the front of my head where people will be looking. Now I'm letting the last section of my hair, and this section is one of the more important ones for me because I like to cover my middle part with the rest of my hair so that when I'm actually wearing my hair styled, it is easier for my head to look more even and for my hair to not look as lopsided or flat at the top. By covering my middle part, it adds more volume to my hair towards the top of my head and for me personally, allows for a better look. I usually do add the most gel to the section of my head because the hair in the section is going to be the hair that moves the most as it is constantly being moved all over my head depending on how I style my hair. The hair that is the closest to my middle part is the hair that will be left to cover the part itself, and the rest of my hair in this section will fall down to the side of my head with the rest. Now that I'm done with that side of my head, this is what it looks like. It is now time for the right side of my head and you can see the difference between the hair that is styled and has gel in it and the hair that has only been given the leave-in conditioner and has not been styled yet. I am now taking out my hair and parting it the exact same way that I did before. And I'm not going to show the entire process on this side of my head since you guys have already seen it on the other side and it would be more time efficient for you guys to not have to watch both sides of my head getting done the exact same way. But this is what the first section looks like when it is finished. I did take a quick break because if you couldn't tell by my semi-festive t-shirt, I did record this on the 4th of July and had to go down to eat some food with my family. But for you guys, it'll only be gone for a split second. So here I am, back from eating. I am now on the last section of my head and I'm taking that hair out. And I know that you guys can still see my middle part, but this section of hair helps with that. Uh, don't mind any silly faces that I'm making in the camera, but I'm just applying a small amount of gel to the entire section before I divide that section up within itself. I then start by taking small, amounts off of the sides as these small areas of hair will be falling to the sides of my head and I'm just finger coiling this section since the hair in the front and top of my head are the strands of hair that move the most and I want to make sure that they will hold. So now that I'm finished with both sides of these small sections of hair, I will take the rest of my hair out and will section off a small layer off of the top and apply gel to that hair. The hair in this section is going to cover my middle part, so I do want to make sure that I am finger coiling that properly. I am then going to take another small section of hair just like I did before and do the same thing with that and that hair will also go to cover my middle part as well.
Now that I'm on the last little section of hair, I'm going to apply gel to this, and this is where I part to my style. This section is the only section that will have a part, and I'm just making sure that I put my hair in the direction of which I want my part to be. I did make sure not to make another middle part when doing this because that would have made the top of my head look flat and the ends frizzy, and in the end, I would have looked like a traffic cone. So this is what my hair looks like when finished. Some of the parts at the bottom have dried since I did take a break to eat, but this is what it looks like. And since I did film this video in the middle of the day, I decided to just tie my hair back, but I only wrapped my hair tie around once so that it wasn't too tight on my hair and wouldn't affect the way my hair dried too much. This clip I had recorded later that night and as you can see, my hair is a lot drier and a little frizzier, I guess you could say, but you can also see that there is shrinkage, and I think it looks pretty good, but this is me the next day. Okay, so this is my hair the next day. Um, there's definitely some shrinkage, as you can see, because my hair was a lot longer, and now it's like just past my shoulders, um, but it is very soft, and it's like fluffy and like you know and it should last a couple of days at least um i usually make my hair last almost a week at most but a lot of times i do wash it beforehand um but yeah this is this is my hair nice and shiny too curls are luscious if you want to see me use other hair care products while doing my curly hair routine, make sure to check out my get ready with me for high school formal video as I do my hair while getting ready for the dance.